The power of human connection is truly remarkable. The bond we form with someone when we feel seen and heard gives us that critical sense of belonging. This exchange of energy also builds trust and can lower anxiety and depression. Social connection helps us regulate our emotions, leads to higher self-esteem and empathy, and even improves our immune systems. Google the phrase dangers of isolation and you'll get more than 13 million results. 50% increased risk of dementia, 29% increased risk of heart disease, weight gain, weakened immune system. The list is long and well documented. JFS has many services and programs but helping people connect is at the core of everything we do. Our staff works with clients to help them connect with the services and support they need to build on their strengths and meet life's challenges. I'd like to introduce you to several of the JFS programs that build connection with people across the community. So we deliver gifts during holidays throughout the year. One is Passover, another is the winter holidays, and then high holidays, which take place in September. And we deliver these gifts to people in need. They may be in financial need, they may be isolated and lonely, or they may just not be feeling great, and they don't have family to celebrate these holidays with. Um, and so we, and with the help of many, many volunteers, deliver um, to them personally at their homes. Our Passover for All program is a program that delivers bags. Our volunteers deliver bags to our clients and community members that are referred to us through synagogues, um, the JCC, and other community partners. In the bags, uh, we have matzah, uh, matzah ball soup, gefilte fish, and horseradish, and a number of other items. There are gift cards from our that are created by our local school children at the JCC preschoolers and the Talmud Torah as well as the Cheder um, and our synagogue programs. Yeah I just called a minute ago to thank you for these goodies for Passover. Obviously I'm going to have the happiest Passover yet because of this generous gift that you gave me. Oh I'm just so excited I had to call my daughters right away. I am 94 and I do have cancer, so this made my day. Thank you again. And in the winter, we have a program called Biachad. It's a winter holiday gift giving program. Um, we celebrate all the winter holidays that take place, and our volunteers come out in force at that time again as well. And they help us stuff the bags and they deliver to our clients and referrals in the community. Um, the people that receive the bag either have a financial need or um, they're in a space of loneliness or ill health and they could use a friendly visit. And a lot of um, what happens during this time is the bags are delivered and it's a lovely gift, but on top of that they also get the gift of somebody seeing them and hearing them and being present in their home with a visit. And I think that is actually the golden nugget. For years, Jewish Family Service of St. Paul has a good connection with the Russian-speaking community. Uh, I also work with Holocaust Survivors Program, and those people need a lot of help. Most of my clients are live alone. Some of them have some help from families, but not many of them. And when a client receives a big bill or receives a letter from the county that they're going to lose their medical assistant if they're not going to fill out the form as soon as possible, they really get um, in tears and calling me and asking for my help. I always try to tell them, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. Let me take care of you. And when it's a good outcome, they call me and say, thank you. The JFS Kosher Meals on Wheels program is another great example of making connections. In 2022, we delivered 7,220 meals, most of them to clients who live alone. And when a client lives alone, the delivery of these meals provides an opportunity to check in and say hi, to make sure the client is all right. Uh, one time, our delivery driver, Bob, went to a client's house 
and saw through their window that somebody was lying on the floor. Um, he was able to get inside and check on them, see if they were okay. Um, fortunately, in that situation, the person is okay. They didn't need any medical attention. But this is a great example of how sometimes our clients need somebody to check in on them and make sure they're okay. Kosher Meals on Wheels operates at a deficit, so donations to support the program are crucial. In 2022, we touched the lives of more than 4,300 people. We made a connection. In our small corner of the world, we made a difference. Kind of like the little girl who found millions of starfish on the beach and one by one threw as many as she could back into the ocean. I love that story because it illustrates how every effort we make can and does make a difference. Tonight, we ask you to help us continue to make a connection and a difference with your donations.